Hey, I'm Joe Kendrick for Lingua Musica, and I have the pleasure of sitting across from Ryan Mott Blue of Ryan Mott Blue Band. We're here at the Great Eagle in Asheville, North Carolina, in front of their show this Wednesday night. How are you doing, Ryan? I'm doing great. It's great to have you here for the, Happy to be here. For the first edition of our interview series with Lingua Musica and talking about uh, all things Ryan Mott Blue. <laughs> Tell us about the tour so far. I know you've been traveling far and wide. Yeah, we've been uh, well. We've been out for about a month right now. We're kind of always on the go, um, so yeah, we've been out long enough that I barely know where I am right now or, or who I am. Uh, <laughs> but no, I know we're in Asheville, and we're psyched to be here in Asheville. But we've been out. We've been doing uh, kind of mainly through the, the southeast this time of year. It's been nice. Yeah, it's a little chillier tonight than it, it is. is normally this time of year, but but that'll all change in the next. This day is like or so. home, man. Yeah, this so. is not why we come to the southeast. Yeah, almost like Bean Town. Almost. So tell us, you know, there's been some changes over the recent period with the band. You got a new guitarist. How's mm -hmm. that working out? It's working out great. We we couldn't be more excited. Lyle's great. Um, yeah, Lyle's been playing with us a few months, and um, he's just like brought a, a lot of new energy um, to the whole thing, and everyone's just excited. You know, I think we we've just barely gotten over the phase of us kind of like just kind of gawking at him on stage, like like all smiling and like looking at what he's doing. We're kind of we're able to hold it down now. But uh, but we're all we're really excited. I think uh, you know it's just it's kind of taking the music to a new level. So we're excited. Awesome. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the you know growth of the Ryan Mott Blue Band because you've been getting up to bigger and bigger uh, stages. You know, opening up yeah. for some big names, yeah. traveling around, working with Martin Sexton. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last year was was. Um, was uh, we were we were riding the Martin Sexton train extensively. It was, it was he's been just so great to us, um, and, and it's been a trip for me because that's a hero of mine. That's like in turn kind of like put me on a bunch of shows, and then he hired us to be his backup band, and and uh, we did all kinds of big stuff with him. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just been great. It's been good. You know, we've been at this a fair number of years, and we've been on the road ourselves, um, pretty hardcore for the last seven or eight years. And uh, so it's nice to see it grow, you know, it's like watching the grass grow, um, which is a term I learned from Martin Sexton. Uh, <laughs> but like, you know, it's just like it, things grow little by little by little and it's good to, it's good to get to these big stages and, um, and know that, you, that you're supposed to be there, that, you can, that we can do it, you know, that, we, that we, we feel comfortable on a big stage now when we play them. So, um, yeah, it's been great. Great. I was reading an interview or listening to an interview of yours where you were talking about how hard it is to kind of pigeonhole or classify your music and for somebody yeah. like me that you know my day job is I'm a DJ mm -hmm. your records are great because we can pick your record and, and segue it into almost anything else because if one song doesn't work you just pick another one mm -hmm. and it made me think of artists that had that whole unclassifiable sounding kind of nature you know like the Mose Allisons or the mm -hmm. Betty Carters or maybe even more like um, to an extent, uh, Anders Osborne. You just have yeah. people that have a wide variety of work and how it can be great, but also I think it was your comment that you might wish that you could be a little bit more classifiable. Just for the sake of, of easiness and, and just explaining it to people. You know, we meet people on the road that don't know us and they're like, oh, what's the name of your band? And we're like the Ryan Montblou band. And they're like, well, well, they don't understand it. And they're like, well, what kind of music do you play? And we're like, well, it's, it's kind of a little bit of everything. So it's kind of not easy answers. Um, yeah, I just wish we had something very, I, I kind of say now it, it's kind of, it's a lot of sort of um, kind of folk and roots Americana meets kind of like soul and, and R&B kind of stuff. Um, but it's sort of, it's all, it's all over the map, but it's not, uh, but I always say, you know, it's just the music that we make. We don't, we don't force that. We're not like, you know, hey, we need to do this genre, so let's just copy that and do that. I mean, we, we just try to write songs and, and see what comes out. Awesome. Well, what else in the near future? Anything in, in the plans? Well, Asheville tonight, and then um, we have. Uh, there's a lot coming up. We're kind of crazy through the through the middle of the summer, and um, and we do another run out to the, out to Denver again and back, and then in the fall, I have a. I just did a recording session, a big recording session um, in New Orleans, um, and that I can't say much about, but I have a new release. Uh, I think coming out this fall. That's going to be. Um, just under my name, just Ryan Mont Blue, and then there's a new band record that we're gonna do um, with the Ryan Mont Blue band for next year. Uh, but I have like a kind of a special solo thing coming out, I think this fall. Wow. So that's like been the biggest thing lately, and uh, can't.
can't really say much about it yet, but it's happening. Wow. So, traveling on the road all this much, do you have any time for skateboarding? <laughs> I favored is... one of your tweets. You're talking about getting hassled by the mall but, cop. Uh, and, yeah. and you figured you weren't old if you got hassled by the mall cop. Yeah, I know. I know. It brought me back to my younger days. I was just longboarding, too. I was just an old guy on a longboard riding around the mall parking lot. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to raise any, any ruckus. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, I, I love skateboarding. I don't, you know, I don't even have my board with me on this. I forgot it on this tour, which shows how much I've been skating. Um, I I I, lo I have more fun skateboarding now than I ever did, even when I was younger. And I'm I'm gonna be 34 next month, so um, I love it. I'm more of a fan now of skateboarding than anything. I go on YouTube and just kind of like geek out on all the skateboarders. Uh, that's like one of my favorite things to do when I'm not playing. Is like just kind of like look at skateboarders. Um, as creepy as that sounds. Wow. Uh, but I, I, you know, I love it. Yeah. Because to me, it's like, uh, it's like, it's a. They call it a sport. I mean, it's on ESPN and all that. But it's it's really kind of art. You know, it's really kind of expressing yourself. So I just, uh, yeah, uh, I love that stuff. Great, great. Well, Ryan Monthly, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. We're Appreciate here on Lingua Musica, where music is the universal language. I'm Joe Kendrick. Until next time.